Exhale, Michigan, because Steve Eiserman is an absolute legend. It worked. The plan worked. It didn't backfire in the face of adversity here. Steve Eiserman has pulled it off. Jakob Vrana has cleared waivers. Now, this is, like, I, I, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. I had something stirring in the back of my mind that said, okay, on the morning of January 4th, Wednesday, 2023, and I say the morning because it's 11 a.m. as I record this video, it's not past noon yet, I was kind of thinking I'm going to have to make one of two videos. Either, firstly, we're going to have to talk about Vrana and how he gets claimed, because there are a multitude of teams that are out there that have the proper cap space to acquire a guy like Vrana with no consequences. They could get on a guy who apparently is fully healthy and ready to participate in play. Look at the tweet made by Chris Johnston, or not the tweet made, but the segment made by Chris Johnston on TSN Insider Trading from yesterday. This is on NHL Watcher's Twitter account. But Johnson said this on the show, that the reason the Red Wings put Vrana on waivers is because they're facing a squeeze with their roster, with Fabry coming back and Tyler Bertuzzi not being too far off. Vrana is healthy and ready to play right now. And that's not too difficult to comprehend. And in fact, a lot of people would go out there and say that's probably the very obvious part of how this situation is going. But we didn't know as to whether or not other teams in the NHL would be able to tango with Stevie Y. As to whether or not they'd be able to go along with what it is that Iserman planned to do. And in fact, we now have ourselves the confirmation that the answer is yes. Steve Iserman's plan has come to fruition here, as earlier today it was announced by Elliot Friedman that Jakob Vrana has cleared waivers. No team went out there and claimed this guy. Exhale, Michigan, because this guy is going to be sticking around in the Red Wings organization for a while. Now, the reason this probably went down, and this is kind of why I think there might have been some sort of I don't know, maybe gentleman's agreement? Is that kind of the proper way to say it? I don't know it's used like that in esports, right? But who knows if Steve Eiserman just kind of put it out there in an open forum to all the GMs in some sort of another saying, hey, my guy is on waivers. We know he's a talented player. He's worth $5 million, and he probably could get 30 to 40 goals, but I don't want you to touch him. And the reason for that is because he wants to stick around in Grand Rapids a little bit longer. He was unsatisfied with his play in Grand Rapids, and we need to send him down there so that he's able to get up to speed a little bit longer. He was just coming out of the player assistance program, and we just need some more conditioning time. So who knows if Steve Eiserman told the other GMs in the NHL that it would be really inappropriate if you put in a claim for this guy because we have a plan for him to set him on track, and he's on board with it. He wants to stick around in the AHL for a while. And if you take him, you're just going to be the biggest a-hole in the world. Maybe that's what Steve Eiserman did. Maybe. Maybe it's intimidation towards the rest of the league. Or maybe something else. Who really knows? But at the end of the day, this is really, really great news. Because now there isn't really any timeline. He can just stick around in Grand Rapids, do his thing, get back up to speed, and he's not under any sort of deadline. Oh, he's only got three games to get moving again, and then he's back in the NHL, or only two weeks or whatever. Like, there's an extended amount of time here. He can spend as long as he wants in Grand Rapids before allowing himself to re-enter the Red Wing system. And in fact, if you wanted to say, like, let's say Vrana is amazing within the next four days. Like, he's really back up to speed quickly. The Red Wings have also made some external moves as well because they assigned Delkovich earlier to Grand Rapids today, too, for a conditioning stint. So, Stevie Y is wheeling and dealing, baby. And this right here is absolute wizardry. Slipping a guy like Jakob Vrana, who could be a 30-40 goal scorer on this team if he's healthy the whole time, through the cracks of the rest of the league. So, talk to the comments your thoughts about Jakob Vrana clearing waivers. What are your thoughts about the way that he's played in Grand Rapids so far and how he's going to get some more time to do that? I'm really, really happy to talk about this instead of making the other video. Oh, Jakob Vrana got claimed by the Anaheim Ducks, for example. Like, this is a much, 
much better thing to talk about. They didn't lose out on Mantha for nothing now, didn't they? Verana is down, and Verana is still a part of the Red Wings, baby. Talk to the concert your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this British Rush Roll Slide 9. And bye. <laughs>